x that seems to make sense. If x is in the middle, this distance and that distance have to be exactly the same. Now an angle bisector, it's a ray that has an endpoint on a vertex of an angle and divides that angle into two angles of equal measure. So if I draw an angle like this, the angle bisector would come from the same endpoint, but divide it equally in half. So this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. Now it says rewrite this statement as an if-then statement or a conditional statement. Congruent angles have the same measure. We could say if no, I don't want to improve my performance. If two angles... are congruent... then they have the same measure. Do another example. If I want to write, rewrite this as a if then statement, two lines, two planes intersect in a line. If two planes intersect, then they intersect in a line. Write the converse of the following state. If the distance of the race is 10 kilometers, then it is about 6.2 miles. So, after the if, we have the distance of the race 10 kilometers, after then, it is about 2 miles. Again, we have this pronoun it, it refers to the distance of the race. So, we want to write if the distance of the race is about 6.2 miles. Then, now we can use our pronoun, it is 10 kilometers. There we go. Write the converse of this statement. If the month is January, then it has 31 months. So we have here and here. So this one, there is no pronoun, so we can just switch those two and we're done. So we can say, if the month has 31 days, then the month is January. Write the converse of this statement. If points A, B, and C lie in the same line, then they are collinear. So, points A, B, and C lie on the same line, then they are collinear. We have our pronoun they, so we can't say if they are collinear, because we won't know what we're talking about. So we say if point a, B, e, and C are collinear, 
then they lie on the same line. the converse of the original statement true if points A, B, and C are collinear, do they lay on the same line? Yes, that has to be true. Now, so since the original statement and the converse are both true, let's write this as a bicondition. We can say points A, B, and C lie on the same line. If and only if they are collinear. That's a biconditional state, using if and only. So it says, write the following statement as a biconditional. If the Irondale football team scores more points than you know, Grace, then they will win the game. So we can say the Irondale football team scores more points And the king of grace. No typo. Oops. If and only if they win the game. Alright, that's the end of today's lesson.